Three million years from Earth, the mining ship Red Dwarf. Its crew, Dave Lister, the last human being alive. A creature who evolved from his cat. And Arnold Rimmer, a hologram of his ex-bunkmate. Plus me, Holly, the ship's computer, who once had an IQ of 6,000. The same IQ as 6,000 White House interns. Additional. The human race is doomed. Extinction beckons. You are all destined for oblivion. But on the bright side, no more Police Academy sequels. Abandoned ship, black hole approaching. This is not a drill. This is a drill. You steal a gigantic red trash can with no brakes in three million years on the clock. Rogue droids, genetically engineered life forms, figments of Mr. Lister's imagination. Holly! That's a cause for confusion. Look out, eh? All right, Crichton. Point to the Space Core Directive 723. The terraformers are expressly forbidden from recreating Cleveland? Uh, no. I mean, Space Corps Directive 592, obviously. Ah, yes. In an emergency situation involving two or more officers of equal rank, seniority will be granted to whichever officer can program a VCR. Crichton? Nice experiment, Criders. What do you do for an encore? Neutron bomb juggling? An object with such awesome power and charisma flattened all the grids. At first, I thought it was me. Is that the Red Dwarf way? The Born in trouble, all in trouble! The posse! The boys from the dwarf! If one of us is in a fix, the homeboys band together! That's the way it is! Are you trying to make me look like an idiot? Uh, uh, no, sir, uh, but if you'd like some competition... Space Core Directive 572. Frankly, I haven't been this impressed since my collection of singing potatoes formed a close harmony quartet. Think that was cool? 